all know that Samsung is not going to release One UI 3 for Note 9 or the S9 even though it is a really capable device but I know a solution so I will guide you how you can install One UI 3 on Note 9 or the S9 so without being said if this video interests you then drop a like subscribe to the channel and let's get started so first of all your phone should be rooted and must have a TWRP recovery version 3.3.1 or else your phone will go to the boot loop as mine did. By the way, I will be providing the link of it in the description down below. So head to the TWRP recovery and if you want you can back up your current ROM to stay safe. Now go to the wipe section and select Dell with cache, cache, system, vendor and data and then swipe to wipe. Now that you have done that, go to the install page and flash the ROM file. If you want you can select advanced deep load but I would recommend you to select no deep load as it does not have that much apps, only the basic ones. Now the ROM is flashing and you can wait for some time or if you did not subscribe to the channel till now then go ahead do that first. Also note that the ROM is pre-rooted so you don't have to flash matches. Now the ROM is successfully flashed, select reboot system. The first boot might take some while and if it goes to the boot loop then reboot to the recovery and flash the ROM again.
Now let me set up the device and I will see you guys after this. The first impression of the ROM is quite good and I can see how smooth this is working but can't say much to the review part. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and use this room for a couple of days and then I will get back to you. So hey, I'm back with the review of the room. So every room has some cons, this one also has, but the number is really less. First of all, the first thing that I noticed about this ROM is the user interface. It's much smoother than the stock one and looks refreshing. The lock screen is minimal now and the blur in many areas are just awesome. And about the battery life of the ROM, I can clearly say that a drastic improvement is there. The performance of the ROM is just awesome. and you can see the Geekbench score, so it is perfect for gaming. This ROM even has a custom kernel. This ROM has given the highest benchmark score for the S9 in the Exynos version. So now the downside of the ROM. First of all, the face recognition or fingerprint scanner does not work properly. Do let me know in the comment section if you are also facing this problem. And that is it, I am only able to encounter this problem till now and in the conclusion i must say that this room is just perfect for everybody even if you are a gamer or a normal user you can install this room and your experience would be next level that is it for this video and i will see you guys in the next one do let me know the topic that i should cover in the next video